The genes in our cells are used for assembling proteins by transmitting a set of instructions on actually how to assemble that protein. The physical process is remarkably similar to that of a vast computer program with installed instructions just waiting to be run. So exactly how does this biological program function? Well, the information on a strand of DNA is coded in four key chemicals, thymine, cytosine, guanine, and adenine. In RNA, the thymine is replaced by uracil. These nucleotides are grouped together in a sequence of three nucleotides called a codon. It's equivalent to a byte in a computer. The proteins in our body, which are essential to living processes, are constructed from the smaller amino acids. Now, there are 20 natural amino acids, many more non-natural or non-standard amino acids. However, these 20 natural amino acids can be combined in various different sequences. Some of these sequences can just be as small as 20 amino acids long, and others may be many thousands of amino acids long, which results in the one to three billion different and highly specific proteins that we use to carry out all the key functions of life. Now, the sequence of three nucleotides can be arranged in a total of 64 different sequences, of course enough for each of the 20 different natural amino acids, and leaves quite a few spare. What the living organisms do use several of the sequences for the same amino acid, but they reserve some codes for two special purposes. Brings us back to a resemblance to a computer code. Now the sequence adenine, thymine and guanine is the first of the special reserved codes. It's the instruction to actually start assembling a protein. This start instruction is actually for the amino acid methionine, which actually forms a kind of scaffold for the rest of the amino acids to be attached to it. In many cases, once the protein has been assembled, methionine actually just breaks off. The next codon or sequence of nucleotides will then be the instructions for an amino acid to be placed onto the methionine. The codon could be cytosine, thymine, thymine, to represent the amino acid leucine. Each subsequent codon to add another amino acid to the construction until the last amino acid might be from the instruction guanine, guanine, and thymine. To add the final amino acid glycine to the construction. Then the final codon will be one to three possible stop codons like thymine, adenine, adenine. It doesn't actually code for any amino acid. The assembly process stops, there aren't any more instructions to add more amino acids the now completed protein. Protein now completed and ready for use, the assembly process can begin again starting from the beginning. Here it can be seen that any change in the DNA sequence means that the information for assembling a protein could be corrupted, resulting in a malfunctioning protein and have serious consequences for the living organism. Now there have also been experiments carried out using the non-standard amino acids to create synthetic proteins which don't occur naturally. The science for this is actually currently in its infancy, as yet we don't know where this might actually take us.